Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to show you some slightly older footage that I've had lying around and I'll probably continue this over the next couple of days. This is us prepping Zoe's cabin. The cabin needed quite a bit of work but not you know so much, it just needs beautification. This whole process involved a hell of a lot of sanding and this weird sort of melamine cover and vinyl covering on some of the walls. Um, which we couldn't just peel off because it was sort of glued and very well bonded to to the base. So we sanded it down and we used a primer for this and this is the result of a couple of days worth of sanding. Even Zoe got stuck in on sanding her cabin out once we moved off. Um, she came and started sanding. This cabin isn't completely finished. You may have seen it in other videos with me being inside and doing things. Um, it's kind of like a bit of a work area now that I've finished the doghouse area, which was my work area. So unfortunately, on a boat, as soon as you've got a neat place to work, that becomes your new workbench. So <laughs> this room's kind of become that for now. Right, now this bulkhead at some point was replaced and I'm not really sure what happened. I think it has something to do with the issues that we're seeing on the other side of this, which is that pilot cabin. And this is probably related to her being beached on this side. So she was beached on the port side a couple of years ago, either in Brazil or in Mozambique. We're not entirely sure. We don't have the full history. And Zoe's already sanded this whole area and this is me giving her the various instructions so she's got stuck in and she's going to give this whole thing a very nice coat of paint this primer should fill into this board quite neatly the very edges have uh, spray foam in them and that had to be cut away and there was some quarter rounds sort of cornicing edging that had been put in to disguise everything I'll probably do something similar later because I can't really replace this bulkhead, um, not in any easy way, and it would only be aesthetically pleasing to replace it. So it's not like there's a structural problem. It's fairly robust as it is, but we can definitely make it look a bit better. Right, meantime, Carolyn and I are going to start work on the starboard cupboards. Um, this is something we've been wanting to do for a very long time. This footage came without audio, so I'll explain. This whole area that I'm pointing to um, is going to get cleaned up. Carolyn's going to do that. That's Carolyn. And we're going to clean this whole area up, and we're going to put some shelves. And we want shelves on either side of the center mark where I'm putting my hands now. There is going to be a screen. And we'll probably put some entertainment stuff to the left and right of that. DVDs and CDs and so on.
So after a good cleanup, um, you can actually see how the mold has been slowly taking hold um, on everything. Underneath our little barbecue that was on here, yeah, it's looking pretty grim. Thank goodness this is all going to get cleaned up now. Glad we checked. So with the seats out the way, um, this is the storage that we have underneath it. Um, it needs to be sanded and painted and made to look good again. And we'll probably get around to that in the next couple of weeks. One of the things that we've long thought of doing is this area behind uh, the city, right there, it's, it's quite hollow. So we thought perhaps a can pantry could go in there. But first, Carolyn's going to get stuck in with cleaning up and vacuuming the entire area and we'll give it a wipe down and then we'll start building our mock-ups. We're going to use just some cardboard that we've got lying around from some old boxes and moving stuff. Uh, we'll cut that up to make the facades of the cabins how we see them looking and then we'll build mock-up shelves and little bulkheads for them. I, I basically want to be able to take those pieces of cardboard, lay them down on a piece of ply and cut it out with a jigsaw, paint and prime and stick it into place. Um, they don't have to be absolutely brilliant, they just need to be functional. And I guess they need to look kind of okay. They will be permanent for a while, until we can think of something better. So now once we've agreed on the sizes um, and more or less how we want it to look, uh, we'll probably do two. We want to have a space in the middle for uh, a screen so we can watch movies or put anything on that we might want to see. And I'm holding this for Carolyn while she measures it out and we have a brief discussion about if this is how far we want it to go. I think we've only got so much space in the middle. I've got a fairly large screen. Well, not really that large. Um, I think it's like a 22 inch monitor, but we have some space, but this entire area sort of closes in on itself and widens up at the back. Nothing is ever straight on a boat. So it's always good to mock it up. You can see it visually and you can make any changes you need on the fly. It's definitely the best way to go about mocking anything up on a boat. And so as Carolyn finishes all of that up, we skip ahead and you can see the final result. This is kind of what we're going for. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. It will definitely work for us. All right, so in the meantime, I've also started trying to recondition the spinnaker pole. So we've got two of them. They're pretty long, pretty big, and they look terrible. They've been painted with, I don't know what they've been painted with, something disgusting, velvet glow, sort of a white PVA or something. So I'm putting some paint stripper on it and I'm going to give that a go and see if that helps. Um, if it doesn't help, then it's manual. I'm going to have to sand everything down. I don't know if I'm going to go all the way down to the aluminium, um, because then I have to protect the aluminium somehow. But let's see how this works.
All right, so it didn't work. And we've decided to try a heat gun now to try and remove some of this paint. And it's already looking like that's not going to work either. So it looks like this is going to have to be the manual sanding way. Unfortunately, the paint stripper did nothing. So this is going to have to be the manual way. <laughs> 